Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Cohen. Today I'm going to show you how arithmetic and geometric sequences work. Let's start with uh, arithmetic sequences. We'll do those on the left, and then next we'll do geometric on the right. Okay, so the idea behind an arithmetic sequence is that you start with the given number, let's say it's 1, and you add a specific number, right, to the first number, and you do it over and over and over. So 4 plus 3, that's going to be 7, plus 3. So it's a sequence where you're adding a specific term over and over and over, basically. Um, so one way to, you know, work with this is to draw out slots for each term, and then you can just add uh, the term you're increasing by each time. So in this case, we're increasing by 3. We add 3 each time to each slot. Okay. Um, so pretty easy to do. You know, this is the first term. This is the second, etc. This is the fourth. Now, this is not a very fast method of solving a problem like this. You know, it, it, it can be fast for a problem with only two or three terms. But what if you see a problem where, let's say again, the first term is one, okay? And they want you to figure out dot, 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 the 10th term. Well, it would take a lot of time to draw out 10 slots and add 3 every time. Um, they could even ask you to find the 257th term. Um, so we need a formula to do this quickly. And there is one. And what we do is we start with the first term. So the first term is 1. And then we add to the first term the number that we are going to be increasing that term by. So let's say we're going to increase it by 3. And we multiply that number by the amount of times we add it to 1. So if we have, if we want to figure out what the 10th term is, we're going to be adding 3 9 times. In formulas, you'll see this represented as n minus 1, the final term minus 1. Because look at this example. If we want to figure out the fourth term, we're, at, we're adding 3, uh, 4 minus 1 times, 3 times. We add 3 once, twice, 3 times. So you're always adding the term of increase one less time than the number of uh, than the final slot basically that you want to figure out so if we have 10 slots we're adding three nine times and again this is you know think about this uh, intuitively we're just starting with one all this formula is saying basically is that we're starting with the first term one and we add three to it nine times. One plus three plus three. So here we're adding all nine of those threes to the one. And that gives us our answer. So what is that? One plus 27 is 28. So in other words, the tenth term is going to be 28. Um, so the formula uh, is basically going to be the first term right, plus the term you're increasing it by, in this case, 3. We'll say the uh, term of increase multiplied by the number of times you add that term.
And so this is this is what the formula is doing, and this is the n minus one. Because if you want to take, you know, again, the final term, the nth term, the ninth term, tenth term, um, it's always the number of times you add the term of increase will be the nth term minus one, as we've seen here. So that's it. That's how you do in arith arithmetic, uh, arithmetic, sorry, uh, sequence. So let's look at a geometric sequence, which is pretty similar. Um, so let's say we start with uh, ch -ch 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 one. That's our first term. And then, you know, we'll do the same thing. But a geometric sequence, instead of adding a term, right, you're multiplying by a term. So let's say we multiply by 3. So now we have 3. We multiply by 3 again. We have 9. We multiply by 3 again. We have 27. So if every term is being multiplied by something, geometric sequence. If every term has something added to it, arithmetic sequence. So on a uh, small problem where you don't have many slots, you can quickly just draw out your slots and do the math. Um, but again, on a big problem, and you will see big problems, you need the formula. So for example, if the first term is 1, and we're increasing, we're going to multiply by 3 again, let's say we want to figure out the 10th term. So how do we do this? Well, like with the arithmetic sequence, we start with 1. And then, instead of adding 3, we're multiplying by 3. So we say 1 times 3. And how many times, we want to ask, how many times are we multiplying 1 by 3? Um, we're multiplying 1 by 3. In this case, we multiply it 1 by 3 three times. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. What's the n minus 1 again? Uh, the final term, basically, that you want to figure out, you subtract 1 from. And that gives you how many times you're multiplying uh, the term by. I'm sorry. Uh, it's 3. 3 to the, so uh, what you're doing is you're saying 3 times 3 times 3, right? So you're just getting all those all those 3's in, and it goes on 9 times. You get the idea. Um, so we're multiplying 1 by 3 9 times. So what we do, instead of writing out all those 9 3's, we just use an exponent, which is this, saying the same thing. This gives you a very large number, uh, right, relative to where we started, uh, 19,683. So that means the tenth term is going to be 19,683. So the formula then, you know, and this makes sense. Again, we're taking the first term. And we're multiplying it by 3 nine times to get to the tenth slot. So if we want to write this out as a formula, you can think of it, it would be something like the first term is what, right? Multiplied by the, uh, I'll call it again, the term of increase. You could also call it the uh, multiplier. So in this case, it's 3. We're multiplying by 3. And you multiply that by the number of times. I'm sorry, you raise that to the number of times. Raise to the number of times you multiply by that term. So I know the formulas can seem a little bit off-putting in the beginning, 
But if you think about it in this way, this is what the formula is actually saying, uh, you'll see that it's pretty intuitive um, and pretty easy to remember when you, when you can see what's going on behind the formula. Um, and again, remember this right here is the n minus 1 because, you know, if you increase, if you want to figure out the second slot, again, you're only multiplying once. If you want to figure out the third slot, you're only multiplying two, two, twice, so on and so on. So there you go. That is how you work with arithmetic and geometric sequences. If you found this video helpful, you can subscribe to our channel for more videos like it.